Hey, Scorpios, let's get into your messages at this time. All right, messages for Scorpios. Let's see, doing things out of spite. All right. Oh, let's see what's going on here for you, Scorpio. What is this about? <clears throat> Who is doing things out of spite here for Scorpio? For Scorpio? Knight of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Water energy here. So I feel like somebody is now I'm hearing duress. They're under duress. Somebody's like stressed out or they're all up. Uh, somebody's a little messed up now for doing things out of spite to you, Scorpio. I feel like this is somebody who really did want a happily ever after with you. Maybe you want this with them as well. And I feel like now they're trying to come in to like make things right. They're they're wanting to come in and give you um, an offer here that's going to lead to your Ten of Cups, your emotional fulfillment. What did this person do out of spite to Scorpio? The devil. I mean, shit, this could be a lot of things. You definitely overcame this person with strength here. I feel like you definitely have to put up a good fight. This, this person did something really evil, wicked. Tell me about the devil here. What is the devil? The three of cups. Queen of swords. I feel like this is your energy here, Scorpio. You may have had to protect or defend yourself in some sort of way here. With this person, um... It could have even been a, a, a up to three people. This person could have done something here with up to three people. Okay. One, two, and then the main character here. Okay. One, two, and then the main character here. Two men and a woman. I'm definitely picking up two men and a woman. Two men and a woman. And Scorpio, I feel like this is your energy right here. Um, your guards are up. Maybe you did have to defend yourself. Look at the... <clears throat> the blood on the tip of the sword there, Scorpio. But um, whether this was literally defending yourself or spiritually defending yourself... These people could have been attempting to try to take something from you, Scorpio. Four of Pentacles wanted to flip out here. But yeah, you see, somebody's stressed now from what they, they took from you, Scorpio. And this Four of Pentacles, they tried to withhold something from you, keep something from you. And now this person is stressed that you're going to find out or that they are found out. There's a feminine energy here who is <clears throat> spiteful and does not care. I feel like this person also knows that their time is running out in some sort of way. This person is definitely being led by like um something dark. <clears throat> Could even be a person, another person who has like a dark energy attached to them. I feel like I feel like they all have a dark energy attached to them, honestly, with the devil here. But there's like the head honcho here. The emperor. Can't make this shit up. A head honcho. So the head honcho could be a ma uh, male or female, doesn't matter. 
the emperor they're embodying masculine energy so this is the person who's been doing all the planning okay this is a narcissist with this emperor damn you're coming out reverse this is somebody who <clears throat> could have been very abusive um controlling like this is somebody who is just they abuse their power they're downright wicked death there you are scorpio I don't mind my death card this was actually my first deck my first tarot deck ever um but uh yeah it's been a minute scorpio i feel like you um here you are death rebirth i feel like on a spiritual sense you have caught somebody okay And it's interesting because that four of pentacles, I kept hearing the angel of death. I kept hearing the, the angel of death. And then there you are, Scorpio. And Scorpio, you are the angel of death. So, um, hmm. I feel like somebody just knows that they're done for now, Scorpio. I don't think it's this emperor. I feel like it's somebody attached to them. I feel like this person might be a little scared of whoever this emperor is. This is giving me like gang vibes, mafia vibes. Jeez. All right. Tell me more about this devil. Two of swords. Death. There you are, Scorpio. Some of you may have had to go toe to toe with the devil, with this emperor devil person. Okay. Whoever this is. For some of you, this could be a father figure. This could be a, a husband, <clears throat> a boss even. <clears throat> excuse me you had to go toe to toe with this person in, so, in some capacity tell me more about this uh, yeah it's like Scorpio you are the light they are the dark in some sort of way you are fighting the darkness here you were fighting the darkness. And look how this emperor, their staff, is going right through that devil right there. You overpowered the devil, Scorpio. One more for this devil, the high priestess. There could have been some level of dark magic happening here. Um, yeah, five of pentacles. They, they wanted nine of pentacles in reverse. There could have been definitely gossip going around, page of swords, a lot of stalking, a lot of spying, gang stalking, five of pentacles. Somebody definitely wanted you left out in the cold with nothing. Again, heavy watching you, Scorpio, to see if you have had some sort of loss, if you are out in the cold, if you have nothing, if you're you're in, in lack, feeling empty, nine of pentacles in reverse, not being financially independent, successful, having to depend on others for... Uh, money, resources. Pisces, Capricorn, Taurus. I mean, I'm sorry, Aries. I'm, could be a Taurus. I don't have Taurus out here, but um, I meant to say Aries. Pisces, Capricorn, Aries is out here. Oh, we do have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn with this Knight of Pentacles. Um... I feel like you intuitively started picking up, Scorpio, what was being done behind the scenes here by somebody. But now somebody, like, they're stressed. They're stressed that they, that you know, or something, something, time is running out, Scorpio. What is this person stressed about? The Page of Cups. Three of Swords, the Magician, the 
this person's like afraid that Scorpio, if this person knows that you are intuitive or a high priestess of some sort, somebody's like afraid that you're going to gain some sort of enlightenment or receive some sort of message, spiritual message here intuitively about what was done. I don't know why I'm picking that up with this page of cups. Look at that fish with the light on its tongue. It's giving me like some sort of spiritual message being given to you. You gaining enlightenment about something. This person may want to come in and apologize, but they may be too afraid to, to apologize. For causing you pain here. For being a part of this, this situation. Because I feel like it's more than one person that's involved. Tell me about this Nine of Swords. The Empress, Taurus, Libra energy, Judgment, Scorpio energy. Yeah, okay, so this person, Two of Cups. King of Wands. This person, Scorpio... I keep hearing, she knows. I keep picking that song up in these messages. She knows, and I know she knows. The high priestess. He, you, he, male or female, doesn't matter. You know, Scorpio, you know something about that. You know what somebody was trying to do out of spite. And now somebody who was attached to the situation is feeling stressed about it. Look how the empress is looking back at this situation. You overcame something here. You came out of this poverty that people were trying to put you in judgment is being called on these people i'm telling you there's at least three people involved and judgment is being called on them scorpio look how pissed that angel is look how this person is over here praying and repenting this person fucking head honcho over here is like what Oh, and this person over here, somebody may even have a child. Somebody who was trying to do something wicked to you could have a child. And like, they're hoping that their, their child is not affected by this. A mother, I'm telling you, there are two men and a woman. Somebody here could have a child. And wow. <clears throat> Look at this person. I feel like this person that's praying, repenting here is this person. That is all up in their head now for what it is that they did. This is the person that can't sleep at night. They knew judgment was coming. They knew they were, they knew they fucked up when they were, you know, at first it was fun. At first it was like, yeah, <laughs> right? It was all fun and games. They were partying, celebrating, probably doing some weird fucking rituals or some weird shit here. And, um, but with time, uh, Scorpio, Watching you, um, the fact that you fought back, you fought back, you fought the devil, you fought the darkness, and you overpowered it, you overpowered the devil, you stood your you stood your ground, you stood in your power, Scorpio. We have the emperor and the empress out here looking at each other. I just realized this. This could have been your whole counterpart. Scorpio, my jaw is dropped and I'm still trying to pick it up off the floor because wow a lot of you had to embrace your masculine and feminine energies and bring them together a lot of you could have had a big struggle between your masculine and feminine energies here like some sort of power struggle between those sides of you and it's like you had to blend these together in order to overpower and overcome this devil if that makes sense this is a whoever this resonates with you're, you're gonna understand what i'm saying i just i don't I, this is strange but somebody did some i feel like this is this is more having to do with the high priestess here the devil 
I did see the magician a couple of times in my other deck. Could have to do with like some some darker, darker, heavy shit here. Like dark, dark magic or something. But if it's not that, it's just some people doing some wicked shit coming together to, again, try to put you in a place of poverty, Scorpio. So you cannot be financially independent. So you would have to depend on people, um, I don't know, the government or anybody, you know, just be, <clears throat> Ooh, excuse me, just having nothing, absolutely nothing, Scorpio. No car, no home, no job, no money, no family, no friends. I mean, you are being gang stalked here, Scorpio, is what this feels like. This was, this was, that you could have had a connection here with one of these people, Scorpio. But I feel like you felt in your intuition that something was off about this person. You saw the red flags. Aries Leo Sagittarius energy here. I mean, this could easily be like a false counterpart, but this could be a counterpart who chose to go down the dark route and that happens. I mean, I don't, that's, I don't know. I don't know. It's just my opinion. It's like, it's for me, like it's the same as like, um, you know, like a fallen angel, right? Or someone falling from grace. You can be on the right side of things. You can be on the right side of the divine and doing things the right way. But the devil can come at any time. You're, you know, when people are in human form, human flesh. Like, when the devil comes, like, you know, you... People can easily fall for the devil. Let's just say that. 1717 on the timer. Okay. And maybe you did, Scorpio. But guess what happened? That two of cups that I saw, something in your intuition started telling you that something was wrong. Something was up about this person. Whether that this person was your false counterpart or that this person was uh, into... Um, some dark shit that they were on the more evil side <laughs> okay um yeah but again you're, it's like your intuition started growing more and more and more Scorpio and um it's like once you stepped into this high priestess energy you completely blocked this energy off this is when you started learning how to protect yourself Scorpio spiritually physically energetically you turned into the high priestess and started um diving deeper into your spirituality uh you know um your your intuition started strengthening and growing like you have how can i say this <laughs> like I'm, your powers started growing scorpio like that's just how i can put it okay and then at some point, it's like you stepped into this empress energy after all of this, after blocking it out, after, you know, facing the devil here in some sort of way. It's like you overcame this test, this challenge, this whatever it is that these this these people were trying to do, Scorpio. And then you from the high priestess, you st slowly started transforming into your empress energy. And now judgment is being called on these people. Wow, strange reading. I'm trying to. This is this is very spiritual. It feels like what was going on here. Very very spiritual. But at the same time, it happening happening in reality because there were at least three people here who were doing some odd things. Let's just say that. Um, like this is not going to resonate with everybody. So please take what does and leave what does not. Let's get some confirmation cards here. All right. But yeah, now somebody wants to come in and bring the happiness here. Bring you emotional fulfillment. 
because they can't sleep at night. This person is being haunted. The judgment is here. Opportunities will be presenting themselves. I feel like they will be presenting themselves for you, but not for this person, not for these people. Scorpios, we have money will be flowing in up right here. Okay, so they could have, again, trying to stop your money flow, trying to make you go broke, get into debt, having absolutely nothing. What else? You have the skills, you have the potential, believe in yourself. These people were trying to take your confidence, trying to strip you of your confidence, strip you of who you were and what you had. Spiritual court came out. Look at that. So these people are under judgment. <laughs> wow. Anything else here for Scorpio? Your skills and talents are needed at this time. So Scorpio, there's some sort of skill you have here, some sort of talent um, that you, uh, something you're really good at. And it is needed at this time. And it's time to like put yourself out there, Scorpio. Have that confidence within yourself. You have the potential. You have the skills. Believe in yourself. Go for it. Money's going to start flowing in for you. Especially when it comes to you doing whatever it is that you're talented at or skilled at here. We have I love you coming out. So now somebody wants to come in telling you I love you, Scorpio. Perfect match. Match made in heaven. And it's coming out sideways. But this is, this is, okay. It's like now somebody's realizing that you're their perfect match, that they shouldn't have done something here, Scorpio. Now they're realizing they love you. This is crazy. It's a thief in the night to come and grab you. It can creep up. This is the song Disturb You about Rihanna. This song creeps me the fuck out every single time. It's a thief in the night to come and grab you. It can creep up inside you and consume you. A disease of the mind. It can control you. It's too close for comfort. 22 uh, minutes on the timer. This is why I'm saying that there was some dark shit going on. Okay. There could have been a level of like dark magic going on. But let's keep it going. D Stop. Scorpio. <laughs> Do you believe in magic? So somebody was doing magic here. And then on the back of this card. And I accidentally had done this. Um, I didn't realize I had written on the same card when I wrote this message, but I had already written behind that. Would you accept me back? So this is what I'm saying. Somebody wants to come back. Somebody wants to know if you would accept them back. They want to let you know that they love you and that they feel like you're their perfect match. They're 10 of cups now after doing magic on you with two other people here. Now, because they're receiving some sort of karma, now they want to repent. They want to redeem themselves. Misery loves company. That's why these people were doing it. Natural born God or goddess in reverse. These people were mad that you were some, you were a natural born God or goddess. Okay. You were just naturally born, you know, powerful and, and naturally beautiful or handsome inside and out. This is what this, this was about Scorpio. They were trying to strip you of your power. Because they have no power. New levels, new devils wanted to come out. It's because you're leveling up in your world, Scorpio. So they wanted to take you down a notch. Key to self-love. Doors of loving yourself wholeheartedly are opening up. And it fell on top of the high priestess. And I feel like when you went into this high priestess energy, when you started going through this high priestess stage, Scorpio, this is when you started pouring love into yourself because you started intuitively picking up on things. You started gaining more uh uh, spiritual knowledge, um, receiving a lot more downloads and dreams like your, your, you know, your spiritual gifts just started exploding and expanding. And this led you to this helped you <clears throat> find self love, give yourself self love. This is why you're in this empress energy now. Focused on you in reverse. These people were focused on the wrong thing. They were focused on you and they shouldn't have been. Practice gratitude in reverse. Daily affirmations, prayer, journaling, giving back. These people have no gratitude. They don't pray. They have no faith in anything. They don't believe in a higher power. 
people don't know, like they don't know how to manifest. So they feel like they need us to take it from you, Scorpio. We have stuck between a rock and a hard place in reverse. So somebody could have been stuck between a rock and a hard place about coming towards you. I feel like they're no longer stuck because they're in regret now. Um, Scorpio, you could have been stuck between a rock and a hard place when it came to someone here. But I feel like, again, you're no longer stuck. Let's see what else came out here. Mentor, mentor, teacher, trainer. So some of you could be stepping into an energy, uh, like a leadership role here. Jack of all trades, but master of none. So um, you could be very multifaceted, very, very diverse. Um, you could do a lot of different things here. And this is this is part of your skills and talents here. And again, this is what these people were jealous about or trying to take from you um i feel like these people whatever they were trying to do i feel like they were not masters of it which is why it did not work scorpio whatever it is that they were trying to stop for you or take from you strip you of we have fine as hell perfect package in, in reverse these people are just ugly people inside and out like that's just what it boils down to have faith in, in your dreams in reverse. These people didn't want you to have faith in your dreams. They didn't want you to love yourself because these people have no faith, like I said. And look, karmic spell work on masculine. So this could have been um, a karmic doing spell work on a masculine. You could be the masculine that was um, this was happening to. And now you're in your empress energy. Doesn't matter. But you are sitting there abundant. You're attracting everything and not having to chase a single fucking thing. You have the Midas touch. Everything you touch turns to gold. Anything else here for Scorpio? Find your happy place in reverse. These people are unhappy. They have no happiness in their life. Some of you could be an entrepreneur here. Or you're tr going to become one. Yeah, just see status and success is on the way right here. Wow. All right, let's get some advice on this situation. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> and now somebody's in regret. I mean, and, and I really feel like, look at how this emperor is looking at this empress. Nasty, just nasty. Even if this was your counterpart, like this person was, there was some sort of jealousy that they had towards you because I don't even know why. It doesn't even matter why. This is just crazy. All right. Advice for Scorpios. Hmm. Honor the light. This is Vera, Vera Kacha. Number 43, you could be 43, um, breaks down to seven. Um, you could be born on November 7th, be a life past seven. Um, and 2023 is the year, it's a, it's a year seven. It's a spiritual, very spiritual year, y'all. So this is, this is, <laughs> shit is not working. Okay. Why are they having me get these cards again? Why did I pick up these cards and start shuffling again? Nine of Cups. Okay, Scorpio. Um, I'm here. I'm a genie in a bottle, baby. Come, come, come on and let me out. Scorpio, your wishes are about to be granted here. Whatever you've been praying for, you see, you've been practicing your daily. Um, You've been praying daily. You've been doing daily affirmations, journaling. You have been giving back, okay? These people were trying to, like, take this from you. This is, like, your natural born state, and they were trying to strip you of this. You're so abundant that you're able to give to others. They wanted you in a place of the five of pentacles where you were not able to give to others, let alone have for yourself. But now you're about to have your wishes granted, Scorpio. It's like you're, you're genie in a bottle. Your angels are like, whatever you want. <laughs> and you're like, really? <laughs> yeah, seven of swords, four of cups, whatever these people were trying to do, um, whatever deception or trickery here it didn't work and i feel like somebody is upset they're disappointed that it didn't work scorpio they really are and that's a shame because you're now you're just dancing in the sun having your happiness here because you're a cycle is closed out and you're about to start a whole new chapter some of you the hierophant could really be stepping into some sort of mentor teacher trainer role here a, a leadership role <clears throat> Working and collaborating with others, helping others. 
Some of you could be going back to school and studying something or teaching students or um, even if they're not children, you could just, you know, whatever. Um, just teaching others. It's very interesting. I like this. I like this. All right. Let's read. <laughs> Number 43. There's always light to the darkness, Scorpio. Oh, you are a light bearer. Your sole purpose is to redress the presence of darkness on this planet through shining the light. You are meant to do this in the ways that feel most uplifting to you. What brings brightness to your spirit? Do those things. How can you create a loving legacy to remind others of the light? Exploring and expressing the light in ways that remind others to seek light is also a way to fulfill your divine destiny. Your light is powerful. Use it. People around you, perhaps even you, can sometimes get caught up in the troubles of the world and forget to focus on the light and their own creative power. Gently but persistently remind yourself and others to ask for divine help. This can be done according to each individual's belief system. Prayers will be answered. Focus on the light at specific moments during each day. Place sacred objects in your line of vision so you see them and remember the light often. You are a light worker, a light bearer. One who is divinely designed to receive and transmit light for the benefit of humankind and Mother Earth. You have more influence in situations to bring about divine conclusions than you may realize. Don't be afraid to use your light in all ways possible. Wow. Okay. Um, just reading through real quick, seeing if there's anything else. All right. Am amplifying the inner light is a way to tap into your creative consciousness. Then what you generate in this world through your thoughts and actions is what you actually want to share. That which increases hope, goodwill, happiness, and peace in this world. It is said that Viracocha med made humans by breathing into stones, but his first creation efforts were not pleasing to him. So he destroyed them with a flood and began anew for a better result. The, symbol the symbolism of this speaks of allowing our creative ideas to evolve. We do not need to be scared to let things fall away to wash clean and start afresh with our creative intentions. We can do this daily through prayer and other ways to honor and strengthen the inner light of spirit. For someone like you with a strong mind, the ability to broadcast thoughts and feelings more clearly than many around you and therefore possessing a potential to influence others. It is essential that you bring your mind and way of being back to the light many times a day. If you get into a dark mood, it doesn't only affect you. It may well bring many others down even if you are alone hiding from the world under a bundle of blankets your darkness doesn't go unnoticed unfelt the more the more you grow spiritually the more your states of being will have an impact in this world you don't need to fear your darkness rather when it arises within you recognize recognize it and work through it without delay mm. minimize the amount of time and grip that you give it in your soul and practice authentically bringing yourself back to the light there is no magic in this. It is an ability born of practice. Hmm. The disciplines of practice comes from a desire to be in the light. You can choose to be in the light for whatever reason. It could be that it feels good or that it connects you to spirit and you like that feeling. It may be that being happier makes you more attractive and magnetic to what you want to experience or you want to brighten up someone's day and not darken their mood with your own you may want to show gratitude to the divine not discontent and so forth the point is that you figure out your best motivations to be in the light and practice putting yourself there again and again despite the darkness scorpio if this resonated like comment subscribe and share um anything you need to know is in the description box below personal readings you can find that information down below as well you can follow me on my other social media down there um and also yes this channel is for men and women i read for both men and women i try not to say um he this or she that i try to say masculine feminine male female doesn't matter unless i really am specifically picking up man and or woman here like i specifically picked up here two men and a woman in this reading specifically um, and yeah, we have spiritual manipulation here that I'm looking at. So somebody was definitely trying to sp spiritually manipulate you or spiritually manipulate something in your life here, Scorpio. So anyways, that didn't work. Um, like, comment, subscribe, and share. Love you guys. Until next time. Bye.